everyone, it's Erin. Um, I thought I would play with some idea of doing the inches. Inches are literally a square inch and you just kind of play with the color. So I picked out the color wheel from Tattered Angels. This is our canvas core. This is, um, it's supposed to be this really pretty design and I just, I've used part of it already, but I love the look of the inside of this and all the colors. So I pulled out some Glimmer Mist and Baseboard colors. And then this little here thing here is the silicone mold from uh, Plaid. They're supposed to be with a hot glue gun. But I used it with my polymer Macon's clay. And so this is an air dry clay that I would just pop it in and push it out. And we're going to play and just color it and have some fun. So I've gone through and really kind of added some more colors to each. Some of them I felt were just either two of this yellowy color and two green. There wasn't enough of the blue or kind of pulling in the pink and the red or a beautiful mottled color going here. Some of them had that effect in the very beginning, so that's why I went back and re-sprayed. And then I did apply um, ink to all the edges. So these are not dry yet, but they're dry enough to kind of play. And I think I like some plain. I mean, some of these are just really pretty just on their own, kind of this gorgeous effect all by itself and what would you do with these anything these could be embellishments on a layout these could be embellishments on a card and a mixed media book um, you can put these on ATCs basically what I've done is I've created little mini embellishments in squares so you know think about the side of a card if you have three of these laid out maybe they're of different colors like this I mean that's just kind of cute and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and put some of these fun embellishments on a few of them so I'm just kind of playing to see where I like it. Do I like the yellow on, I think I like, do I like the yellow on that or like the yellow? You know, where, where do I want? Do I want this color to show up on a blue, which I think is kind of fun. So some of these have words in them and I might go ahead and cover up the word with an object just so I don't see it. You know, I kind of like that there. So I think I'm happy with this one. And you don't need to center everything. That's the other thing. So I think I like that one there. I think I really like this one plain. I want to leave kind of one of each color plain just so I can use it as is. I like this mottled one. So it leaves me this red one, this red one, a yellow. Here's a blue. I'm going to have a couple of greens. I mean, I have all these put things on. So let's see. Key. The key might be a bit too big for this. So I may not be able to use the key. The other ones are of good size. Where do I want this guy to go? I think I want this guy to go on a red, kind of the reddish color. This one looks good. All 
All right, to glue all these little guys on, I've let them kind of dry for a little bit. I think I've let them dry for about an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the Mixed Media Beacon 3-in-1 glue. It's a good multi-purpose glue, kind of fits with uh, lots of different surfaces. It's a clear dry glue, gra grabs really well. So to glue with paint and clay and paper and all kinds of ink, it's a good mix. So I'm just, some of these are already kind of stuck onto here. So I'm just gonna kind of pull them up just apply a little bit to make sure it stays and go ahead and glue all these up. So there we go. There's all my fun little inchies. They are truly a one inch by one inch little square and then just having fun playing and adding little bits of clay mists and ink and just kind of playing with them. So now I have these cute little embellishments that I can stick on just about anything. So thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe and I'll touch you again soon. Bye-bye.